Hi, I'm Joe Bartlett. Um, here with the uh, from a Nightmare page, and I'm here showing you some basics on knife maintenance. So the first thing we're going to cover here is the honing steel. A lot of people's misconception of this is that they like to consider it a sharpening steel, and it does not sharpen your knives. What this tool is used for is for honing your knives. So basically, whenever um, you feel like you're starting to lose your edge on your knife in the middle of performance, it helps to straighten it out because with regular use of your knife, um, the steel has a tendency to bend in different directions, which makes the, the, the knife feel dull. And so what I've noticed with a lot of people with the honing steels, because they figure that they are sharpening their knives with it, is they get super aggressive with it. Not a good idea. What you're doing with that is actually doing more damage to your blade than good. And it weak, the more you hone your knife, the more you weaken the steel of your knife, which means you're going to have to sharpen it more often when it does come to sharpening. So here are some basic methods of how to properly, shown, uh, properly hone your knife. Uh, one that I see a lot of people do that uh, is very common is holding your steel up like, like so, starting from the heel working your way down to the tip on both sides, using mostly your wrist action. Which, once you become very good at this, you can start doing it really fast. But if you're not comfortable with that method, one that I recommend that I actually like using a lot is holding your steel down to the ground. To the, I mean, to the countertop, sorry. And um, holding your knife here at about a 15 to 20 degree angle and going from heel to tip on both sides on this way. and it makes honing so much easier. And the thing is too, whenever you do this, you do not need to apply a lot of pressure. Because like I said, you're not trying to sharpen the knife, you're just straightening the edge. And at that point, you know, if you are honing your knife and you're still not getting your edge back, your knife most likely needs to be sharpened. And there are various sharpening tools out there you could use. One of the most common ones that you see in the restaurants that most restaurants will supply for their, uh, for their employees is this heavy duty restaurant quality um, tri-stone. So that's the three different grids. Usually starts off at probably about 2400 to 300 grit, moves up to about a 400 to 600, and finishes off at about 800 to 1000. Um, me, with my personal knives, sure, that's great for starting them, but it doesn't get them as far and as sharp as I would like them. So after that point, I prefer to go on to using Japanese whetstones. So here's an example of a Japanese whetstone I have here. This one is a 1,000-6,000 brick combination stone made by King out of Japan. And then the one I'm going to be showing you on here today is a 10,000 grit finishing stone. Now for using these uh, whetstones, there are various ones. Uh, some of them tell you to soak them for 12 to 15 hours. There's other ones that you only have to soak for 15 to 20 minutes. These two that I have, you only have to soak for about 15 to 20 minutes before you use them to make sure that they are wet and have contained the moisture good enough. And while you're using them, you have to constantly make sure that you have a good amount of moisture on top. Now, when sharpening your knives, depending if you're using a German or Japanese German knives, I would recommend sharpening them at about a 20 degree angle. Uh, Japanese knives, depending on if you're using a Shun or Miyabi Shuns, since their edge is at about a 16 degree angle, I would try to stay as close to that as possible, somewhere around a, a 15. And with these ones, they are sharpened to a 9 to 12 degree angle. So you're fairly safe staying somewhere between a 15 to 10 degree angle on your sharpening. And the way that I judge that is whenever I'm holding it to the stone, the spine of the blade should be about halfway, should be about midway on your thumb. Now I'm going to do a demonstration of sharpening here. Um, now what a lot of people do for like a western knife is usually
usually they would start from the heel. Uh, sorry, starting at the tip, moving to the heel, line it back and forth like that, which adds a great method. I prefer to do the more traditional Japanese style, where I'm starting off with the blade completely horizontal with the stone here, making sure I got it to the right angle, and make sure you use the whole surface of the stone. Because if you're using one small area of the stone, basically what you're doing is you're creating a, uh, a valley or a canyon in the middle of your stone and you're losing that nice, smooth, flat surface. So make sure you use the whole entire surface of the stone here. I put my three fingers down here to make sure everything is level, keep everything stable, and start working it back and forth. Start working your way down the knife, and as you're working to, uh, your way down the knife, move it more towards a 45 degree angle. And once you get to that tip, bring the tip up a little more. Make sure you can feel that tip is hitting up against the stone, and start working it back and forth. And then start working it back the other way, back over to the heel. And keep on repeating this process until you start feeling a bevel forming. A uh, burr, sorry, a burr uh, forming over the uh, side of the knife that shows that that steel is moving over on that side. And then once you feel that burr forming really nicely on, on on the other side of the edge there, that tells you that it's time to flip the knife over and start working on the other side. I'm going to continue here with this. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure, just set those three fingers on there, let the stone do the work, just move it back and forth. I'm not going to have much time here, so I'm not waiting for the bird to form on that. I'm just going to go ahead and switch sides. So after that, if your knife is going to be nice and sharp after that, you should be able to just do a nice push cut to a basic piece of paper like this. Alright, so that's what I have for you on knife sharpening. If uh, you like what you see here and you want to see more, um, go ahead and check out the uh, Knife Nerd page on Facebook. Um, I'm going to have a lot more information on there for you. It's a fairly new uh, page. But uh, a lot of knife recommendations, um, different, uh, different information on uh, knife maintenance. Um, I'm going to be presenting more videos on like how to choose a knife for you. Um, and that's all I got for you. Thank you.